The following part, it's going to be very exciting. And uh, because your brain is going to tempt you to do something stupid. And you need to exercise discipline and say, uh, no, that's not what it means. Okay. Uh, let me put it right here. Okay. Now, so what we do here is that uh, if you remember what I showed you earlier, that in order to uh, for in order for us to work with the exponents, the basis would have to be the same. If they are not the same, what do you do? Well, I mean, sometimes you cannot do anything, but sometimes you could do something. In this case, what is the relationship between three and twenty-seven? Three cube, right? So now, this is what I want you to show. Three to the one tenth power. Uh, okay. And I don't like to use slashes for fractions. And you don't want to see that or use that either. Because when you have slashes, it's just very hard for you to see which one is the numerator, which one is the denominator. Why would you do that for yourself? Okay. Now, then... I want you to do this first, all right? Put a parenthesis, a pair of parentheses around where 27 would be housed. And then you put the one six power on the outside. And then, well, we said that there's a relationship between 27 and three, right? It's three cube. So go ahead and change 27 into three cube. And I want to make sure that you put down an equal sign on the left as well. I know some teachers, they don't really enforce this, but I do. Because if you don't write the equal sign, you are not showing the relationship between the lines. So now you can have this. Three times one sixth power is one half. Okay. Um, yeah. The so three and the one sixth, they simplify, they reduce each other. The three and the six. So that means we have three to the one tenth power plus one half power. And this is why I uh, worked on the, uh, I showed you the fraction addition, just to make sure that you know, if you want to have to, uh, if you want to add fractions together, you must have a common denominator, okay? And then you have six over 10, which you must reduce. We always show a reduced fraction whenever possible. So your final answer is gonna be three to the three fifths power, okay? And you leave your answer in the rational exponents form. So that will be good. So now this, so this is how things are gonna be very exciting, okay? You gotta be a very disciplined. When you see the bases are not the same, you say, all right, can we make them the same? If not, we can't do the uh, things with the exponents. You gotta know what comes first, okay? Yes. Yes. Well, three times three is nine, right? Nine times three is 27. Now, and this is also the reason why uh, when we were talking about the cube, uh, cube big functions and cube roots. Uh, if you remember, I asked you to uh, do this. Now, the reason I ask you to do this because uh, ultimately it's your number sense. Ultimately, it's how good you build connections with numbers. When you see 27, what can you think of? Average people, nine times three. You? Oh, nine times three and also three cube. All right. If you say number H, average people, oh, four times two. You also saying two cube. So now you add more layers to the understanding of the numbers, which is going to be very good for you. All right. So, uh, so now let's go ahead and take a look at 14. So we practice, we practice the same thing, basically. We say this is two to the one fifth power, and then we got a four. And uh, how can we relate the four with the two? Two squared, right? 
So therefore, you have uh, two to the one third power right here. Okay, two times one sixth becomes a one third. Okay, so uh, so that now we have the same basis. And then they can be added together. And this is where you want to put the, uh, uh, you want to do the uh, act, uh, the addition of fractions on the side and say, ah, hey, let me go ahead and take care of this addition. All right, what's one fifth plus uh, one third? Okay. And you have two to the eight over 15th power. Okay. Good old middle school math with something new. Okay. Fractions adding and subtracting. Okay. Fractions multiplying, dividing. Okay. Now, see if you can uh, do number 15 on your own. Can you do 15 on your own? Okay, so um, very similar. Okay, you look at nine, you know what to uh, relate, right? And I would uh, share with you that uh, if you can nail this thing right here, right now, and get a strong hold of it and build a strong foundation, you thank yourself for the next two years. You thank yourself for the next two years. But if you don't build a strong foundation with this, then you're going to prepare a bucket to hold your tears because it will be painful. It will be painful uh, when you have to work with all these exponents and you have no idea what's happening. And I don't like that. I don't like that idea at all. Okay. So uh, so you have uh, three to the two sevenths power and then three to the one third power. So they're gonna add together and let me go ahead and add it to the side, add it on the side. Uh, what's the common denominator? 21. So make sure that you uh, execute this uh, carefully and perfectly. So the answer is uh, three to the 13 over 21, uh, 21 power, all right? So, so what we illustrate here, what we illustrate here is that in order for you to work with the exponents, they've got to be the same base. If they don't have the same base, Make them, if possible. Okay. All right. 